What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another unboxing and review video. In today's video, it's about G.I. Joe's, specifically Breaker and the Ram Cycle. Let's open this thing up, check it out. Yeah, you know what I got. That's right. It's Breaker. It's the Ram Cycle. Right there. Um, first and foremost, this is a really cool box set. I will say this. My box actually has a ding in it right there. And that was purely all my fault. Um, I dropped it. Yeah. Right there. That's all me. I dropped it. Dropped it in a parking lot. It happens. Good thing we're opening it up. <laughs> but I will say this. As you can see, I have lots of G.I. Joes. I have lots of them. I keep them in the boxes. Even though this box is a little dinged up, I will store this in its box like I'm doing with my other ones. But the box itself is really, really cool. It's a got, It's got a good presentation to it. It'll display great. It won't display like the normal Joes, you know, like, I mean, you could display it this way, but it's big. It, it is a big box. Um, it's over a foot long. So, but I will say this. When I first saw this on the pre-order uh, for Hasbro, I was not going to pick this figure up. Um, I don't know. For some strange reason, I, I wasn't feeling it at the time. Um, I the promo photos, I didn't think did it justice. When I got this thing in hand and actually saw it, the figure is really a cool figure. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. I do have some slight issues, but the issues I have um, are dealing more with the bike than it is the figure. So, yeah. But there's the box right there. Like I said, it looks really, really cool. This is number uh, 29. It's got some side art. Back art looks great, the, you know, Cobra Island, but yeah, this is, uh, this is cool. So I tell you what, let's just get it started. Let me get it out of the box and we'll come back and we'll get the review going. All right, here we go. We got everything out of the box and you, I mean, you get a really good bang for your buck with this. Um, I mean, the price point, it's 40 something bucks, I think. I can't remember because I actually bought some other stuff when I bought this. But overall, it's it's not bad for the uh, for the price point. The You get a figure, you get a motorcycle, you get a big old blasting minigun, got a helmet, uh, you got the sidecar. But first and foremost, let's take a look at the actual bike itself. It's good. I mean, there's nothing... I can find too crazy wrong with it. Um, you know, for, for what it is, it's it's a good looking bike. It does feel like it has sort of rubbery feeling tires. I mean, they're, they're hard, but tires actually move. I do like the wrap right here on the exhaust. Do have a kickstand underneath, which is a, a nice little touch. Very nice. Other side, you know, I guess, <sighs> This, this is really some interesting little things. You know, you got G.I. Joe, the, the 1027 right there. I like the little uh, tool um, icon right there to let you know where the tools are at. Lots of good detail in the engine. Got some good detail on the swing arms. Uh, overall, it's, it's, a, it's good. I mean, it's a good-looking bike. Got gauges. Uh, personally, I can't see a crack crotch rocket style uh, motorcycle being in any kind of combat but hey that is what it is got the american flag right there got some more logos so yeah it's 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 all right there's nothing really wrong with it um i think the uh, the decals maybe be a little bit overboard uh, but i don't know that might be just my personal preference uh the sidecar uh, this is where I have issues with this particular motorcycle is right here. That is such a 
non reasonably functioning wheel. Um, I think this is the biggest thing I didn't like about it when I saw it in the promo photos because this makes no sense whatsoever for a, a sidecar or for a gun. Uh, I don't like it. I think it's, I just think it's silly looking to be honest with you. To me, it looks more like something that would go on a railroad. But again, that's my personal preference. Even when you look at the detail of the, the tire, it looks metal. In other words, it doesn't look like an actual tire. Um, I just, yeah, that's that's my biggest complaint. I think you could have actually uh, put this as a, a pannier, put one on the other side, and still got the gun, wouldn't even needed this. I may actually take mine off. I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to the way it actually fits. But I just think this is this is my biggest pet peeve uh, when it comes to the bike. The case itself looks good. Got some detail. It could be uh, weathered a little bit. I do like the fact we got some uh, some decals here. It actually just pops apart, which again, nothing crazy, but it gives you a better better look at this. Uh, this weird wheel. <laughs> I'm not even going to call it a tire because it does not look like a tire to me. But yeah, let me leave this apart for now because that brings us to the mini gun. Uh, mine, as you can see, is bent. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of heating up because this is pretty stiff. I do like the rotation, but again, mine is got a pretty substantial bend in it so i'm gonna have to heat it up but again the detail looks great i think you can make it look a little better maybe with some uh, silver rubbing buff or something like that give it a little bit of uh, a weathery treatment uh, the cool thing about the gun you actually take your uh, sidecar apart it actually pops in like this so you got the handle and then you actually boom right there so now you got the gun actually in the sidecar and the sidecar you got peg and peg which i find this very interesting is these are round pegs but these are hexagon um holes so i find that really interesting but it pegs in good but again this that's i may take this off on mine i don't know i just I'm not digging it. That's just me, though. I think it looks silly, but hey, that's the beauty of these reviews. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat them for you. I'm gonna tell you what I don't like, but I will say this: I like it better with um, the box on the bike than I do the bike with it off. So, so there we go. There's the bike, uh, the figure itself, breaker. Very cool figure. He come. He doesn't come with a lot, but. He does come with this really cool helmet. The helmet actually looks good. There's a lot of detail to it. Got the uh, visor. Got the mic. Antenna right there. I mean, it's it's a good looking helmet. Nothing wrong with that. I dig it. Now, the one thing that I already have a little bit of an issue with, the only weapon he comes with is this minigun. I wish it had came with a pistol or something. That's again, that's just me. But the figure itself, the head sculpt, the head sculpt looks great. The hair, all the texturing and stuff on the vest looks great. The color of this is just amazing. Uh, I will say this mine is rather loose, but I'm okay with it. But I mean, it's, it's a good looking figure. Got the laces on the boots, the knee pads. Yeah, but like I said, that head sculpt looks really good. When you put his helmet on, let's see here. Now, to me, <laughs> the helmet looks good. I like the helmet, but it looks more like an aviator helmet. But that's just because of the, the front view. But I like the helmet. Helmet looks good. Articulation-wise, it should have really good articulation. Uh, head, of course. Not a not a tremendous amount. Of, there we go. It ha it's got like a little uh, a little click in it. Looking down looks good. 
looking up is great. Side to side, okay. It's articulation in the shoulders right there. Nothing wrong with that. Again, he's just, he's really, really loose. Bicep uh, swivel. Got good elbow articulation. I'm not sure as far as his abs go because of this, this vest, which is one piece. But side to side is good. Like I said, he is very, very loose. Uh, hips. I mean, you can see like that. that is crazy loose. But I do like the fact that the hip actually pops down, so you can actually do that. It's cool. And knee-wise, should be double-jointed right there. Ankle pivots, normal. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy there. Toe down, toe up. Ankle pivots and swivels, great. But he's loose. He's a he's a he's a loosey goosey figure. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah that's it guys that's uh that's it for this this part of the review i tell you what i'm gonna get the camera flipped back around and i'll give you my final thoughts on breaker and the ram cycle all right we're back got breaker and the ram cycle and the old spinny spinny and for the most part this is a very good presentation um i did notice that on the heels of the figure there's actually holes and they actually peg into the uh, foot pegs at the heel area which as a motorcycle rider that's not how you do it but from a toy perspective it's cool um overall i like this figure i'm glad to have it in my gi joe collection uh, the issues that i have are right here that is the biggest issue is that little bitty non-usable wheel <laughs> um, it does make it to where you can sit it up which again this is a toy and I have to remind myself that always this is a toy toys you know are toys but it does make it a better functional bike to display it it sits up on its own perfect like this you don't need the kickstand so from that perspective it's a win I just wish it was maybe a little different. That's just me. Uh, I love the figure. Uh, I think the skin tones are really good on it. They're very realistic. I love the helmet. Uh, again, my figure was very, very loose. Uh, crazy loose, to be honest with you. So I'm definitely anxious to hear from uh, anybody that's watching this video. Is your uh, figure loose as well uh, especially in the hips and the in the leg area but as you can see it is a very amazing displayed piece um i could see i'm not going to do this but i could see having multiples of these would be cool uh at least a couple of them would be, be nice but the price point um, and the, the issues that i have i'm good with just the one um because you guys know me i'm customizing that cycles so yeah <laughs> but yeah this is a this is really a nice piece to have in your collection so i uh, definitely let me know in the comments what you think uh, about this figure but overall it's it's a good figure i mean it's a great figure I, I like this motorcycle so much better than the one that came uh, with the baroness because um, this at least looks a little more realistic uh, my biggest pet peeve uh, I wish uh, the figure actually had another weapon, like a, a pistol or something. That way you could leave the minigun attached on the motorcycle and he, he could have another weapon as well. But we can give him one out of our other G.I. Joes and that'll work out just fine. But uh, this is my review of uh, Breaker and the Ram Cycle. I really hope you enjoyed it. I definitely want to hear your feedback and comments on what you think about this figure and if you're going to pick it up or if you've already picked it up. Also, if this is your first time to my channel and if you enjoy this content, you know, do me a favor. Consider hitting that subscribe button and turning notifications on and uh, help the channel out to achieve a goal of 21,000 subscribers in 2021. And please, always remember, toys refreshes your soul. 
and I'll see you next time.